Hello everyone, I'm Bill Shires with Stone Age Water Blast Tools, makers of the Warthog sewer line of cleaning tools. All of us at Stone Age here are very excited about this new product launch. What we're introducing here is the Warthog Magnum series. This is the first in a series of tools uh, taking 30 plus years of engineering and putting it into one new tool here for you. This tool was designed to handle some of the roughest uh, sewer cleaning applications in the world. So what's happening in countries like Europe and over in Australia are that they're using a new style of pump trucks that use the water that's going through the sewer and back into the pump system and delivered to the high pressure tool. And so th that type of water is not nearly filtered as well as what we're used to here with uh, our potable water or our fire hydrant supply lines. And so if you were to take uh, the, the tool that you know, the WG-1 Classic, and you were to run that recycled water through it, it would destroy the tool from the inside out very quickly. The high pressure seals and the nozzles would wear out very rapidly. So that was the big design challenge for our engineering team to, uh, to tackle. And so um, what I'd like to do is I'll talk to you about the tool. I'll go from the front of the tool to the end and talk about all the, the benefits and all the engineering design changes that we made to be able to handle that recycled water and what that means for you when you're using it in those type of applications or when you're using it for just your standard water supply that we're used to here in North America. So what we're most excited about with the WGR Magnum tool is that um, all these design points that I talk about lead to much longer interval uh, service times and longer life for the entire tool. And so the tool, uh, similar to the tools in the past, is rated for up to 5,000 PSI and 80 gallons a minute. It will come standard with a 1-inch NPT or a BSP uh, inlet thread uh, for the folks over in Europe. And um, let's get started from the top end. So you'll notice right away that the head has been designed quite a bit different than the tools in the past. So in the past you had this gap which allowed you to put a wrench in here to grab the shaft and remove it if you need to remove the head. Um, what we found uh, in the field is that splashback could happen from the, the jets coming out of the nozzles here and that splashback could then get into this oil seal degrade the seal, allow debris, water to get into the tool, which would then contaminate the silicone fluid inside and degrade the tool. Eventually the bearings would lock up and you'd have basically terminal failure. So one of the design uh, changes that we made here is you'll see that this is now flush to the body. So that should eliminate any of the splashback issues that you had previously. Now uh, with that, you'll need to uh, take the tool apart a little bit differently. Uh, like I mentioned before, you would have put this head in, in a vise upside down and you would be able to unscrew it with the, you know, a box wrench or an open end wrench. Now you don't have that access, so we have a tool that you can stick into the top of the body. You'll need to rotate the shaft until it finds the groove. Then you'd put this in a vise and you would unscrew from here and this locks that shaft and what I can do is I have a sample shaft for you here from the new WGR and you'll see the grooves and that's what this wrench is catching up against. In addition to the grooves for uh, the Torx wrench we made a significant connection style change in the shaft. So what you're used to in the past the WG1 is an NPT pipe thread. Okay, that's a tapered thread that requires Teflon tape to be inserted into the head. Uh, this design is a straight thread and there's no tape required. Uh, before installation you will have an o-ring in this groove and that becomes your sealing surface instead of that tapered thread. So please note, do not use the Teflon tape when you're uh, installing the head to this shaft. It's just now it's a straight thread. The next design change that we made was if we had used our standard attack tips, our AP2 uh, eighth inch NPT nozzles with that recycled water, uh, they would get blown out very quickly. So we've engineered our own uh, nozzles for these. These are called the CNP2s. So this is a carbide nozzle. Carbide has been proven to last much longer in lower quality water situations. Um, we've also added flow straighteners to these. And I believe we're the only manufacturer that's using flow straighteners in a carbide nozzle setup. Now, not only will these get you a longer life, but it'll also provide a higher quality jet for the life of that nozzle. And I always want to mention this whenever I talk about nozzles. If 
a nozzle is plugged while it's inside the head, don't just take a poking stick or a welding rod and clear the debris because what you're going to do is you're going to damage that vein right there. So you'll want to make sure you take the head off, unscrew these and use compressed air or lubricant to get uh, any debris outside of one of those tips. Okay, so the next design changes is you'll see that the fins are completely different. These fins now, um, we did a lot of testing on these things and uh, a lot of iterations and what we did now is instead of having fins that's on a complete centralizer welded there, these are now all individual fins. So these fins can be replaced one at a time or you can buy them as a, as a whole kit. And so this used to be something like $70, $80 and you have to buy the whole thing even if just one side was worn out. Now you get to replace those individuals at a lower cost. And you'll see also that there's holes in each one of the fins. And these fins, are, uh, I'm sorry, these holes are actually wear indicators. So if you get to a point where the fin is worn off to that hole, you know that that's the time to replace the fin. The idea is that you replace an inexpensive or all the fins long before you wear out the head, which is much more expensive. Now, what keeps those fins intact is that we have a cap on both sides of the tool here. And when you disassemble the inlet nut assembly, that allows you to slide the fin from the grooves in this body. So a little bit more about the new fin design here. This isn't made of the same material that we had done before. And we did extensive testing on these things. Uh, we put them in sandy environments. Uh, we tried to uh, wear them out by weather and by uh, actual abrasion uh, resistance types testings. And we found that we're getting at least four times the life on these fins than we had previously. So not only can you buy them individually and they're less expensive because of that, but the life is much longer also. So earlier I mentioned uh, that we've got much longer uh, service intervals on the new WGR tool. And how we've gotten there is we put a considerable amount of engineering time into how we do the speed control. It still has uh, the rotor that you're familiar with cycling the fluid in between the uh, bearing journals and uh, through extensive testing we are finding that uh, we're getting at least four times the the life on the viscous fluid and why we think this tool is going to revolutionize uh, the self rotary tool uh, market is that we stack this tool up against every one of the comp uh, com competition out in the field and we did torque curves. We put these tools on in-house testing uh, devices and we ran it. We have over 900 hours to date right now on a tool and we have not lost the torque curve on this. And this is really important. When you're doing self-rotary tools and it's new out of the box, you put it into your sewer line and you're running and you can hear uh, the speed of the rotation inside the pipe. Well, you don't want that speed to go away in 5 hours, 20 hours, you should be getting 80, 100 hours and you should be able to ha maintain that torque curve and that speed throughout the whole time and that's really important to maintain that speed so you're getting the same cleaning efficiency job after job after job. Once the tool starts spinning too fast, gets into the 1000 RPM or more, you're losing a lot of cleaning efficiency, especially when it comes to removing thick deposits or cutting things like roots uh, or really thick grease. Okay, so. I challenge you guys. I challenge you guys to use these tools. Call us back and give us feedback about the torque and how long the, the speed of, ro of rotation is consistent along the interval of service time of this tool. The next engineering hurdle that we had to tackle uh, in order to handle that recycled water was to change our high pressure seal design. So uh, in the WG Classic and other Warthog tools we'd had the plastic poly type of high pressure seal meeting against a carbide face seat and that would not last at all under those kind of operating conditions. And so we designed a new type of seal. This is a carbide face-to-face -face seal design, so it's designed to operate like this. Using all carbide now, we've extended the interval service life considerably, and these can handle that lower filtered water over a much longer period of time. Another uh, bit of information about the heads for the WGR tool is that we're going to be offering two standard head styles. We're going to have one, uh, a standard, and then we're also going to have a pulling option. Both of those options have the ability to be converted into descaling type heads. So you'll see here, a new tool out of stock with a standard head has the jetting configuration that you're used to from the WG-1, but it also has port plugs here which can be changed 
over and modified to turn this into a descaling head. So be sure to consult the online jetting application or talk to a service rep at Stone Age and we can help you choose the right nozzles and make sure that you're getting the most versatility out of one head instead of having to have multiple heads in your toolbox. So some final notes about the WGR and I want to talk about the competitive landscape out here for rotary sewer nozzles. There's more than a handful of very quality uh, long lasting type of tools out there. But based on all those uh, performance uh, enhancements that I described here in this video, I think we've got a uh, really strong competition uh, option here for you. Now, what you need to be focusing on when you're talking to your customers is the cost of ownership over the life of the tool. Okay, it's not the initial price or the price of just a kit, but it's the price per hour, if you can get to it, of owning a particular tool. So now we've extended the life on the fins. We've reduced the number of options needed for the heads. We've extended the life of the viscous fluid for this tool. So we're talking about parts and pieces, that initial cost, but we're also talking about the time it takes when it's downtime, when you gotta take it off the truck, take it to your shop and have it repaired, those kinds of things. So I want you to be focusing on those kinds of aspects when you're comparing this tool against any of the competitor tools out there. Now, at Stone Age, like with all of our tools here, you can buy any of the individual pieces um, uh, at a time. You can buy them in kits. We'll have uh, service kits and overhaul kits, the tool kits and seal kits all available. Um, all the parts will be in stock at all, at all times. And so that's very important too. Uh, we ship basically uh, orders out every day. So you get us your order, we'll have your order out shipped the same day. That's very important. Another thing is that at no time are you required to have to send this tool back to the factory to get repaired, right? We designed this to be used with com uh, to be repaired with common hand tools that you can get uh, readily available and we have the service videos and we have on-site uh, on support staff to be able to walk you through the repairs so that reduces that downtime tremendously also. So there's a, a set of accessories that we'll have available with this tool just like similar to what we had with the WG so uh, once you get uh, past the fins if you need to go to larger uh, pipe sizes we'll have a standard set that'll be larger in diameter to allow you to handle those larger pipes all right, so thank you everyone for your time watching the WGR uh, training video here. We're very excited about this tool. So uh, if you need more information um, or if you need to uh, learn some more about this tool, be sure to consult uh, the Warthog website. Uh, use our resources, our dealer managers, our in-house support staff. We also have our manuals and our training videos all up at the release of this tool. And uh, we really look forward to a great success on, uh, for your customers, for you, and uh, for us. We're really looking forward to this new introduction.